nesters welcome back to nesting haven and today on my channel i am taking you to goodwill i went to goodwill a week ago and then i went back a week later to the same goodwill because it was the only one open in my area and it is a smaller goodwill i think i got most of the good stuff the first week i went i was able to find a few cool things this time so i'm gonna let you go ahead and see what was at the store today and then i'll meet you right back here for the thrift haul I really like the looks of these two canisters I saw on the top shelf. They look like that old enamel canning set you used to have back in the day. And they just didn't have a price tag on them. I wasn't sure how much they would be if I had brought them up to the front, but those are really neat. Even though this is obviously a student piece, I thought it was really nicely done. I love the colors to it and the lines in it were amazing. I want to say I must have saw a chip in this or something weird going on on the inside because I know I did not purchase this but I'm staring at it now wishing I did. I could have done a nice little craft with it or something. It was so cute. I thought this piece was really interesting. I knew it was something you could put outside and it would kind of blow around in the wind and you can kind of turn the different pieces of wood, the little slats of wood to make it kind of, you know, circulate around each other. So it's kind of, you know, more easily able to spin in the wind. I had these adorable little kangaroos on it. I just wasn't sure that anyone would really want it. I don't know how popular kangaroos are you know, in the U.S. here where I do resell, so I don't know. I opted to just leave it behind. This was the first real vintage thing I found in the store. It was unfortunately all chipped up. It's a nice chalkware piece, and, you know, chalkware, you're typically going to find it chipped up, you know, just happens with age. It's just the type of material that it is. 
Had the color been a little different, I probably would have purchased it still, even though it was $5. But the black and red just seemed a little dark for modern kitchens. I don't feel like anyone really decorates their kitchen that dark anymore. This is something I would have picked up if I still had my antique booth. I love the little mermaid to it, but I'm slowly learning, you know, what to pick up for online and getting out of that mindset of getting things for the booth. They had two of these sitting on the shelf there. I was trying to figure out what they were. It looks like something to do with maybe yarn or knitting or something. They had some of the pegs on the back broken, but I, if you guys know what that is, let me know. I was pretty intrigued by them. I thought they could be repurposed into something. I didn't end up picking them up, but I, I thought they were pretty neat. So fun fact, I do not like mice at all. They are the animal that freaks me out the most. And I thought this was kind of cute, but it was a mouse. And I wasn't sure if I purchased it where it was a hockey thing and a mouse. I don't know what that even means together. So I really didn't want to get stuck with it because I have my fear of mice. So I did leave it behind, but I don't know. It probably would have sold. It's hockey. Hockey stuff sells well. These were some interesting bookends, very cute. I I wasn't sure what decor style these would end up in, you know, they're very unique and I just couldn't picture it. <laughs> as cute as they are, I just didn't know what home was best for them really, so I wasn't sure if they would sell. I did glance down at the blanket section. I always look at the yarned afghans and they typically just find the baby blanket size which is unfortunate because you know people don't really buy them for their babies I don't feel like. I feel like they're always just gifted. You know usually someone some aunt or grandmother is making the baby blanket for them like this and then it ends up at the thrift store unfortunately which is kind of sad. Again, another really beautiful furniture piece. This is an older piece. You could tell it was handmade, really nicely done. It did have a little bit of damage on one corner there, but yeah, it was beautiful. I just, I mean, I'm not going to ship things like that out. So unfortunately I didn't get it. I didn't have any use for it myself. While I was checking out the cat, I saw this guy on the flask in the back and I was wearing my mask and it just made me laugh <laughs> a little bit. I'm like, I understand guy, I understand, we're the same.
this was so random. What a naughty cow. I thought these amber fade glasses were really beautiful. There was only two there, and I have a love-hate relationship with amber glassware. I got excited because I found another a set of team flags, but these had a big stain on them, so I did not get them, but I love the Toronto Blue Jays. I always thought they were such a cute team. I love the logo. This Goodwill has the tiniest hand pick selection up near the register. They just have a couple of end caps. And I believe this was the first where I ever even noticed that there was a hand pick, you know, specific tag. But yeah, they have some cute items. They kind of put the more antique looking items up there. I didn't really see anything I was interested in. They had a lot of bigger items. Would have been very difficult to ship. I love this mirror here. I thought that was very beautiful, kind of bohemian as well. And yeah, very cute. This was one item I was considering purchasing. They had $6 marked on it. It's a flower frog. I know there are a lot of people out there that like to collect flower frogs. This one here is more of a common one. It's just a clear glass piece. I did look up comps on that. I don't typically look at comps while I'm in the store, but I was curious where it was, you know, $6 is quite a bit of money to spend on something that I wasn't very familiar with the profit margin. And they were only going for about 8 or $9 on eBay, so. You know, it wasn't really worth getting it for me. You guys know I'm always saying purple home decor is super hard to find. I feel like purple is a lot of people's favorite color. It's a color I really enjoy. And if I find it, I tend to purchase it. So you guys saw on the end cap there, they had several of these candle, like art glass candle holders. I only picked up the purple ones. They had four of these and they were marked $2 a piece. So these are heavy duty. They're probably a good two or three pounds a piece. So keep that in mind if you do happen to be interested in these. But yeah, they're really beautiful purple art glass. You can kind of see the, it's almost like a marbling detail throughout it. And yeah, I just think they're really gorgeous. So I think I'm going to sell them individually on eBay. I just, because they're so heavy and I feel like a lot of times with candle holders, especially this size, people kind of just want one. They don't tend to want sets of things. So they will be available up on my eBay and I think they'll go for about $15. One thing that I really enjoy about going to the thrift store is that you can always find really unique items. You know, you're not gonna go into a regular store and find a lot of things you would at the thrift store. And something I do like to pick up a lot are what I call amateur pictures, you know, paintings, or I guess you could call them student paintings, you know, you, they don't tend to be the, you know, have that really pristine, perfect look to them. You can definitely tell it's not as an experienced of an artist, but there's kind of a nice folk artness to it that I always appreciate. I didn't find any paintings today, but I did find a student ceramic piece. And I thought this was super neat. Look at the colors on this. It looks very boho to me, it look beautiful with any kind of boho decor. It has some nice curves to it. Look at all the lines and the colors they used. I love the colors, those are three of my favorites. And they actually would really go with vintage items because the pink and the turquoise there and the yellow, perfect for vintage decor. The inside has this little swirl there and it has this almost like a arrow look to it. So. It's really neat, I thought. They did have these pads on the bottom so it doesn't scratch your surfaces. This was marked $3. I wasn't sure if it would resell. I appreciated it, so if it doesn't, it's okay. I will keep it for myself. But I think I'm gonna try to get about 12 to 15 for it and we'll see how it does. I picked up this other art glass vase. This is a modern piece, but it's beautiful. It has this really nice caramel color throughout it. And you see how it kind of, I don't know, just see like, look at the detailing of it. 
It's gorgeous, I thought. It's in this really nice opal white glass and I paid $2 for it. So it is a modern piece, it'll be up on my eBay. I think this guy would go for about $14. I am no stranger to picking up bud vases, but I will admit, I think this is the tiniest insert that I've ever seen. Look how small that is. <laughs> I thought this was absolutely darling though. It has this beautiful pink and purple flower on the front there. And yeah, I just thought that was really gorgeous. This only cost $2 for me, and I think it'll go for around $12. Like I said, this was the same Goodwill I went to a week prior. And if you guys remember in my last thrift haul, I had picked up a couple of seagull, they're like souvenir pieced coffee mugs. I found one more there. Obviously it probably came from the same household. This one says Carmel for Carmel, California. I've always wanted to visit there. So I think this is really beautiful. I love how the seagulls are all around it there. And it's in this really beautiful blue, but it has white marbling throughout the whole piece. I thought it was really stunning. It was only a dollar. It is a vintage SNCO mug. And I think I'm going to hang on to this one. I really like it. Okay, so this next piece is something I, I really wanted when I saw it, but it is damaged. And I knew things that were similar to this could sell for good money up in that $48 range but it has a pretty big issue. I, I would assume a puppy perhaps chewed on this cat's tail. It has a couple nibbles on the ear, but I think the ears are fine. The tail, I'm going to try to repair. So I think I'm gonna stain it down and see if I can stain it and seal it a little bit before I list it. And I think it will go pretty good. I mean, if I can get it look, looking okay, I think I should be able to get at least 35 for it. Folk art stuff like this goes for good money. So I, I just didn't want to pass them up. <laughs> I picked up this cute little window sun catcher there. It has a sombrero and a cactus and some hot chili peppers. This was only a dollar. I think it's a resin, not actually a stained glass. It feels kind of like a plasticky resin. But I thought it was super cute and I don't know, trying to put it to the window, but you can't see the angle, but you know, it kind of illuminates a little bit. It looks a lot brighter if you hang it up in the window. So I thought I would give it a try. I'd probably get maybe about $9 for it. And yeah, I just love the colors to that. I was not finding a whole lot of vintage items today, but I still found some cute items, I think. I do like to pick up vintage stuff mainly, but I'm no stranger to picking up things that are more modern that I think people will still enjoy in their home decor. This here is a wooden moose figurine, and he was only $2. I thought he was really well done. He's painted all this kind of brown. He has a little bit of that wear on purpose to him on the front. This here, it's like a tree branch, but it's a pencil. I don't know why they put an elastic around it there and added it to it. I probably won't sell it together. It's kind of broken on the end. So I will just be selling the little moose here. But yeah, I think he'll go for around $10. So I was looking through a box of smaller home decor pictures and inside they had a couple of bread boards or cutting boards, whatever you wanna call them. And I only got one of them. The other one did have some scratching on it, but I was able to pick up this one. I didn't see any real issues to it. It's this beautiful watercolors one. It has a tropical scene. I think it says Bermuda, typical Bermudian architecture. So I thought this was really gorgeous in itself. And oftentimes when you see these types of breadboards, they have a recipe on it and it has a banana bread recipe on it up top there, so. I thought this was really nice. These go for decent. I think I can get about 16 for it. That is it for the home decor things that I picked up today. I did pick up one other thing in the Christmas section, but I'm going to save that for my Thriftmas in July collab that I host every year. Yes, I am doing it again this year if you guys are familiar with it. If you're not and you do have a YouTube channel, 
it is an open collaboration so stay tuned for the date and start picking up christmas stuff if you're going out thrifting or yard sailing or things like that so set it aside and i would love to have you guys join in the collaboration with me i got through the home decor section pretty fast i think i was able to sift around all the aisles in about 10 or 15 minutes because i had just been there and there was a lot of the same items the shelves are pretty bare <laughs> so i decided to check out some of the clothing and things like that my kids both needed socks i don't generally buy the new items at goodwill but this was a good deal they have these little avenger socks there it was five pairs for five dollars so only a dollar a piece i thought that was a great deal i got those for my youngest they have all these little avenger characters on those these ones are just kind of plain here and it's a 10 pack for six dollars so an even better deal and these are for my oldest my kids are growing like weeds and they were in need of some socks i haven't been really going out shopping at the stores i did pick up a dress for myself here it's in this nice little army green and it's short sleeved has this nice ribbing on the side here it's black and white and it has these buttons i think they're faux buttons i don't think it unsnaps yeah they're just like these little faux buttons that go down both sides i thought it was really cute and it has a little bit of a stretchy material it's nice and lightweight so i thought it would be good for the summertime this was priced six dollars i believe gray tags were half price though so i think i got this for three and it is kind of long so it has a little bit of a slit on both sides there so i think it'll be nice and airy for the summertime i think it'll work good for me i was looking for lightweight long sleeve shirts i i like to wear those in the summertime because in my state we have a lot of bugs and we're we like to hike and we're out in the woods a lot so it's best to cover up as best as possible but you don't want to get too hot so lightweight is what you need i found this purple and gray striped shirt here it is long sleeved it was put out by who is this company sonoma which i is that kohl's or target brand maybe and this is 80 percent cotton so I thought this was pretty nice. It has a nice little v-neck there and it does have a pocket. <laughs> Gotta have the pocket, right? So yeah, I thought that was pretty cute. I was happy to find purple. It's one of my favorite colors to wear. The next shirt that I picked up, I am going to have to take one of those defuzzers over it because there is a little bit of pilling, but it was purple. Purple is super hard for me to find in decor and in clothing. <laughs> and I love it both. But it's this really nice t-shirt in Yellowstone National Park. I really like hiking. It's one of my favorite pastimes. And so I thought this was just great. I love the colors to it. So I thought, I think this was only $3. Yeah, so for three bucks, I figured it was worth getting and I can just kind of take the little pilling off of it. So I got that for myself as well. I did glance at the little boys clothing. You guys will have to let me know at your Goodwills if you guys have much of a kid clothing selection because ours is very small and they have the girls and boys even mixed between each other on the rack so you kind of really have to sift through it i i typically buy my kids clothes either new or if we can find them you know be lucky enough to find them in a yard sale that's usually where i have to go our thrift stores it's really hard to find you know boy clothing especially at our thrift stores for some reason but this is a little bit big it is a size seven it's for my oldest like i said we like to be outside so i wanted to get some light long sleeve shirts i love the colors to it blue and green you guys know those are my favorite and it's just a nice little football shirt so i think this was three dollars yep three dollars oh great gray tag so it was a dollar fifty and i thought that was good that's the only thing i was able to find for my boys there i picked up one belt for myself i just love the colors to it it's one of those kind of wrap belts there. I like to wear them around dresses in the summertime. And yeah, I just really like the colors to them there. So this was only $3. And I picked up one scarf. It looked like it was vintage to me. It's kind of lightweight. I kind of got this just to use as a head wrap, like a, not a bandana, what do you call that? Headband? <laughs> and yeah, it's just kind of, you know, a good size for that, I thought. And I love the florals to it and the purple. And this was March $2. So that is everything I was able to pick up today. I had fun thrifting as always. My local Goodwill is, you know, my closest to me Goodwill is opening up on Monday, which is tomorrow. <laughs> so I'm super excited to go check that out this week. I probably won't go the first day because I just expect it to be a little crazy and I don't want to wait outside in line forever. But yeah, I'm really excited that I can go 
you know, get back into my normal routine and hit up my two favorite Goodwills that will be opening this week. And yeah, hopefully we can find lots of good treasures there. I can share them with you guys. And yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching and we'll catch you in the next one. <laughs> Bye.